I don't even know if I should do this next section. I don't, I don't, I don't know if, I, I really don't, it's, it, it, it's too mind-blowing. Do it? We all have credit cards. We all have credit cards, right? You don't want this. You really don't want this. All right. Average credit card balance last year was $14,517. 14, that's, that's a trip to Disney. Seriously, you, you, you know, hey, honey, we got to take the kids to Disney. They're growing up. They, they got to experience Disney. Let's go. You go to Disney. Been there enough times, I know. It, it, it'll cost you around fourteen five. okay? Maybe 20 for some of you, maybe 10 for others of you. Uh, somebody, just, I talked to them this morning, they went to the Clemson, uh, Alabama National Championship. Go Tigers! And, and they, spent, they spent about that much um, when it was all said and done. That's your balance. I'm digressing all over the place. Disney football. Minimum payment, the credit card company is going to tell you, the minimum payment that you have to pay on that minimum is $217.93. Are we tracking? Many of you just make minimum payment. Hopefully you won't do that after today or you'll start making changes so that you can slowly take, remember Martin Luther King quote, you can take a step. Just take, just take a step. Let's assume the stinking sinful paganistic credit card companies, sorry, charge you an 18% interest rate, which is not uncommon, 18% interest rate on that credit card. Tracking? It will take you 40 years to pay off that debt. Now, others of you might have, if I'd asked that question, I was going to ask that question. I, I missed it. I'm sorry. I was going to ask you, how long do you think it'd take to pay that off? Some of you would have said three years, five years, 10 years. Maybe some of you would have said 15 years. 40 years to pay off that 14.5 credit card debt. Should I continue? I don't think, I don't think you want it. That one debt of $14,000, if you pay minimum payment, which as I said, will take you 40 years, will end up costing you $104,606.40. Flip it. Imagine that you decided, I'm going to start saving and somehow or another. Oh, imagine this. Let's take our same scenario. You said, forget Disney. You put the kids on the couch and you put on the freaking Disney Channel. (laughs) That's funny right there. You say, call it Disney, baby. (laughs) All right. Just imagine you saved up that $14,000. You invest that same $14,000. Let's go, let's go somewhat aggressive, but not as, not as aggressive as the credit card company. Let's just say you invest it at 12%. If you invest $14,000 for 40 years at 12%, the same amount of money becomes $1,350,820. And 94 cent cold, hard cash in your pocket. Now, let me just just put it all together. $14,000 paid as a debt, as a minimum payment on your credit card, costs you $104,000. But if you invest that for 40 years, you have $1.3 million to retire on. I think it was Einstein. Don't quote me on this. But I think it was Einstein who said the greatest power in the world is compounding interest. Now, we know the greatest power in all the world is what? Almighty God. But I get his point. Should, should I move on or you want a little more? You sure? All right, just a little bit more because we're going we're gonna to ta- take it to a whole nother level. Let's just say you took that $14,000 that you saved and you invested for 40 years, 
But you took that 270, remember the minimum payment? You took that $217 that the paganistic sinful credit card company was hoping and praying you would pay as minimum payment. You instead invest that on top of your $14,000 for 40 years at 12% interest. Are you ready for this? At the end of 40 years, you will have 3.597,615, 3,597,615 dollars cold, hard cash. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. 